Hey there, buds. Big Tim here, and welcome back to my uh, Drunken Diaries. Uh, here, I talk about some of my high school Alpha. drunkenness and memories, and uh, just the times when I've been drunk and you know, I've had a blasty blast. Uh, this particular drunken moment was actually uh, my senior year in high school. We we're having a big ass party. It was one of my friend's birthdays, and he like ended up getting like two kegs. And he jacked a whole bunch of those uh, wooden crates for stocking, those big ass wooden like pallet crates or whatever. And uh, they had like 50 of those things just stacked up in the middle, and they had like 50 more off to the side. And they had to pipe Paul in for a while, and uh, ended up lighting that motherfucker on fire. You know me, a couple of my buddies. You know, we always roll out with like vodka, get some vodka beer and shit just to drink and chase. You know, every once in a while we'll we'll take to take. From the party, but you know, we always bring our own just to share and stuff like that, have some fun. So we're sitting there drinking some vodka and just having a blast. And all uh, oh, more people start showing up. You know, we were doing our pregame where people start showing up. And this chick that liked me, but I didn't really care for too much, which showed up. And uh, we ended up just talking. I was all fucking, you know, tipsy and shit. And I'm going behind uh, one of my friend's cars, just make it out and dry hump. And I'm like, oh, 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 you know, just trying to get up in there, hoping. My boner makes a hole in my pants and makes a hole in her pants and we have some sexual uh, uh, touching going on there, but it didn't happen. We just ended up making out and then I go my own way and end up meeting with, up with her again. We just started fucking tongue and neck the whole fucking night. And uh, the crates started dwindling down to where you can actually like, run across them. So my buddy Don decided to, that we should fucking just run over them and like, jump over them and shit like that. And right when he said that, someone else threw another crate on and I think it's just open fucking flames and he's like you still want to do this he's like yeah so first dude runs across and he burns up like with no cover he burns up his hair his arms everything just burnt up so me and don grab our sweaters and we end up he, he goes first he jumps on like he's looking down he burns off his fucking eyebrows he runs up into the desert screaming stop chopping roll stop chopping roll roll on the ground screaming like he has this weird cackle that he only he can do dude I can't do it but it's fucking amazing and then I jumped over right after and I was looking down too because I don't want to burn my shit and up singeing my fucking eyelashes and you know girls and people used to tease me because they're all long and curly you got your eyelashes and all girls like I want your eyelashes it's so pretty you know that bullshit so I was kind of happy about that it was like a win-win situation but I had been burning some of my hair and I had really long hair it was a long it was just wavy and I ended up sending some of that off too, fucking asshole, fired and shit. And then another dude jumped on and no, nothing. Nothing right after I jumped, he jumped and nothing happened to him. So I was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. You know, I ended up, you know, chugging some more of the vodka to, you know, kill the pain and shit like that. Because my face was hurting a little bit. And then, uh, the car rolls up and another, uh, chick that liked me, that, like, I kind of liked her, but, you know, I was always drunk in high school. So I, you know, people come up to me and ask me out and stuff like that. I always said something stupid, like, to her, especially, she came up to me and she's like, asking me, it's like, I'm really digging you, you know, I like your style and all this other shit, you know, we go out with me. And I turned to her and I said, I don't think you want to go out with me because I cheat on you. And I just said that just to say, you know, I was like, I'm not a player or anything like that. And then I just said that just to get her away from me and shit because I didn't want to be bothered because my mind was on drinking that day. So she's out there, you know, we ended up sitting down just talking about stuff because we were in the same class. And I ended up asking her out for some reason. But she said yes. I was like, fuck yeah, you know, maybe I might actually have some sexual uh, condensation going on tonight, you know, so we end up talking and making out and shit and still up on her butt and dude, she had a big butt, said, like a burger butt, you squeeze that shit and some poop juice would come out or something, but uh, so she ended up, you know, leaving and stuff like that and I, that night I was supposed to pick up my brother from the airport, it was like about an hour and a half drive and uh, he, he just got back from college from uh, the University of Miami, smart motherfucker. I was supposed to pick him up, and I totally forgot about that, and, uh, he called me saying he was about to land, and so I was like, fuck, shit, so I go around saying goodbye to everybody, about 20 minutes later, freaking, I'm going around again, you know, he's still going around, one of my buddies, uh, said, it's like, hey, Tim, aren't you supposed to go pick up your brother, he said you're leaving, and, yeah, I was fucking tipsy, so I was like, alright, I'll go, my car was parked behind the crates, and I ended up driving my car over the crates, and, uh, one of my friends, David, he ended up jumping in the car. He's like, I'm coming with you, Tim. I'm making sure you'll be all right. I had a, a 18 pack in the car that I took with me because I was going to, you know, drink all the way up there. This is something you should never, anybody should ever, ever do. I ended up driving from uh, the Florence area all the way up to Phoenix, the Sky Harbor Airport there, which is like about an hour and a half drive. And I was blacking in and out. I remember I'm on the 60, which is a highway, turning up to the to the intersection of the the, the like the little intersection that goes to the, one of the highways that leads to the airport. 
and I, I black, I'm blacked out, and I come to a little bit to hear him screaming, oh my god, I gotta hit the car, I look over, like all drunk and shit, all slow motion, and there's this car that was like centimeters away from me hitting it, and shit, and luckily I came to, and I jerked away, fucking finally made it to the airport, I'm looking all over the place for my brother and shit, I'm like, he's probably looking for luggage claim, so we go down there, and it's all fucking clear. I end up passing out on the luggage claim, just going around in circles and shit. Dave Rojas was passed out next to Escalator. Finally, my brother found me. I guess he was calling. He heard my phone. Came over to do this. Get the hell out of here. Now, fucking, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he grabs me and him. Fucking end up going to the car. He's all giving me shit about driving all the way up there, all drunk and shit. Ends up tossing me back out at the party, and everybody was out there, dude. We were just fucking having a blast out there, just getting drunk. And, oh my god, it was a fucking amazing night. End up doing a cake stand that. Lasted probably about like 45 seconds. As soon as they put me down, dude, I was all fucking wobbly and shit. And the next dude goes up. <laughs> he does another one. He's trying to match my time. He comes down. Like, they dropped him pretty hard. <laughs> just fucking this exorcism spew just comes out of his fucking mouth. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking amazing. It was a good night. You know, I end up making out and dry humping a chick that I didn't even know. And then I end up going out with a chick and almost having some sexual then. You know, I was going out with and just did an awesome cake stand and did a drive that I will never ever do again. Um, that is not necessary at all. That is fucking ridiculous. I am ashamed of myself for doing that, but at the same time, you know, it's, uh, it makes you realize, you know, fucking how stupid you can be when you're drunk. But I'm still alive and I'm here and I'm happy and I'm here and that's all I have to say about all that. Hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, drunken memories. Uh, definitely a great party. I remember that party so well. I just had a blast. Man, was I a fucking nut. But, um, here you guys are. Hope you enjoyed this little gameplay as well. Modern Warfare 3, baby. Uh, check it out later, buds. Peace.